for our first mission. Your objective is to launch a rocket from Kerbin, achieve an altitude of at least 10,000 meters. Okay, so I guess what I got to do is track the mission. Mission is tracked. So uh, we do not have a lot of parts. So is this, this is all our parts, isn't it? I believe it was. Yep, there, that's it organized. That's everything. So uh, really not much in the way of options here. We got to get to 10,000 meters, I think she said. So I guess we'll just do that. We will put a parachute on the top here. We will put a decoupler on there. Um, these are just two Methalox fuel tanks, liquid fuel and oxidizers for the uninitiated. Uninitiated. And this is the LV-T45 swivel engine. Put that on the end. So not an SRB like you would have in Kerbal Space Program 1. Now, do I have... There's an engineer's report down here. That's what I'm looking for. So we have a pretty massive thrust-to-weight ratio. I would love it to give an Atmo thrust-to-weight ratio, but I don't. What's this do? So this should be enough for... Ten, you know what? Let's put on another one because why not? We have so much thrust. We're just going to do the minimum just to get the job done. And I am going to tweak this down. It's got a thrust to weight ratio right now about four. So we'll, we'll cut that in about half. I don't know why I'm being picky. All right, uh, I, I think that's about it. Do I have tail fins or anything? I do not. This is, I've got, other than using the smaller tank, this is my whole thing. Are the fuel tanks procedural? They are not. I don't think so. I don't think there's any, uh, it would be nice to have procedural tanks, but they are not procedural. They are just slap them on. That's why there's two different sizes. I believe the only parts that are procedural are the aerodynamic parts, like the wings and tail fins and stuff like that. I think I'm trying to remember all right um yeah let's launch a uh, kerbals i'm assuming kerbals still don't have any there's no classes to kerbals no they're just shell bass shell bass kerman you're going in there i like the hair you're, you've been picked because of the hair i think i'm just ready to punch it i'm really thinking that that's all i need to do i think this is my mission tracker What's the worst that can happen? So Zed, go. Hitting space bar. We're off. Check the light bulb. Yeah, the lights are on, but there's no lights. What do we got to get to? 10 kilometers? Okay, uh, right here it's giving us our apoapsis. And there's our fuel going down. I really don't know if I have enough fuel. I might have needed more fuel. Apoapsis hitting two kilometers. Let's go a smidge. That I have no problem with control, so that's not an issue. Let's lock it onto prograde here a bit. Oh, we got this. We got. Let's go way over to the side. We're easy peasy. Got this. Yeah. Who needs tail fins? Who needs tail fins? Yeah, we'll just do that. So we got 20 kilometers. We'll just go until we run out. Congratulations, you have the first mission objective. Once your vehicle is safely landed on Kerbin, go to mission control to submit your mission report to carry. If you do happen to have some crazy time reversing technology, like revert, be aware that you may go back in time to a point that you have not completed this mission. Um, that's a nice thing to say. I'm sure there are people that get stuck on that. We got a little check mark next to launch a rocket. So what do we got? We got, well, we got 50, almost 57 kilometers out of this. So we're staying in the atmosphere. Yeah, there's a light. That just turned the lights on, but I have no lights on this thing. That's gear. That's deploying solar. I don't want to abort. Can I, the science thing is flashing. It makes me feel like I should be doing something. Crew observation. Oh, crew observation. Transmit. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I think that's science going home. And I guess I could do another crew observation and transmit that. 
has earned you four science points. So I did a crew observation. That's, oh, oh, well, I don't know what happened there. I ran out of electricity. Okay. So I botched that. Okay, I didn't know that was coming, but we'll count it. We'll do another one. So we did a crew observation landed on Kerbin Space Center. So it did it automatically while we were landed there. And I just transmitted that. But unfortunately, the act of transmitting ate up all of my electricity. So I did do a crew observation in the atmosphere. Now, I might not have to transmit this. It may have happened automatically. It looks like here I got four science data being that I've got stored. I'm hoping this is just stored. I really do. Um, I guess we'll find out when we when we land. So there's none of these transmission penalties, which honestly I think is is kind of nice. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, flip this around in a. Oh, of course we don't have any. It's turning anyway, despite what what it's using. It somehow is turning onto the retrograde vector, despite having no electricity to power the reaction wheels. I don't know how that's working. So I'm gonna stage nowish. There we go. And I think this parachute should now be armed, right? Maybe it didn't get armed. That might be armed. I'm gonna watch that. Does it tell you here? No. I'm assuming my parachute is armed. <laughs> uh, let's turn SAS off. It should just... Like, a green light should be armed, right? Wouldn't you say? I'm gonna keep you handy over here. <laughs> Okay, so shoot safety is on, yeah, it shouldn't deploy until safe, but I definitely want to keep an eye on that. This can get a lot smaller. Yeah, it can. Yeah, it can, yeah, it can, yeah, it can. Oh, 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 so, okay, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Assuming that will, oh, 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 we had a little funky physics moment there, but nothing disastrous. <laughs> I like their attempt at trying to make this seem more like, you know, a cloth simulation. I think it's still a little bit a little bit funky, but you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. I appreciate it though. But I like I like the, you know, work in progress. We always got to remember this is a beta game, right? Like um it's it, it is still still in the oven as it says. We just get to have a peek at how it's going. Um couple of other things too just as far as future streams go for those people that that follow my other streams i am doing a ksp1 stream um that i'm fairly deep into where that ends up going depends a lot on how much fun this is if i'm having fun with ksp2 and you're having fun watching ksp2 then i will continue on with ksp2 and find some other time to get back to that ksp1 stream uh, one thing that will not happen, though, is the RP1 series. If you're following my RP1 series, that's going to continue for now every single Saturday um, until I've caught up. Okay, we're, we're down here. That That's looking pretty good. Where's my little science? Oh, it blinks when there's new science to do. I think that's what that is. Okay, uh, so RP1 this Saturday and the next few Saturdays in a row, and I will continue that well into the new year. I am taking next week off. Let's do some time warping. I am taking next week off from streaming. Um, still be videos dropping, but not going to be streaming next week. But then I will be streaming again in the new year. Whether that'll be KSP2 or KSP1 depends really on how this goes right now. Okay, we are almost down there on the surface. Oh, I just hit pause. I gotta really get used to that. I'm so used to the period and comma buttons for the time warp that I, I, I'm used to spamming the comma to take the time warp off and I keep pausing. Boing! We're down! Vessel recovery! Yeah, sure. Escape menu. So... I guess the, the, she said back to the space center, right? Oh, recover. Recover vessel. Uh, there we go. Uh, not bad, not bad at all. Okay. All right. 
Let's uh, get to the KSC. We'll get Shelbis back. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, let's get into mission control. So I'm assuming we got another con- Oh no, we have to go here. My mission log. Submit. My whole mission report is simply crossing out that I did that. And a little bit of science can make those ideas real. When you're done unlocking new technologies, return here for your next mission. Over and out. Thanks, science! So I collected 25 science! So let's go over to the R&D center right here. I like that you can hop between the buildings from inside there, not having to always come back to mission control. That is great. So I have... Does it tell me anywhere how much science... I mean, I obviously have... Oh, I got 33 science. So that's the 25 plus 8. That makes perfect sense. Nice. Okay. So I get... Oh, by the way, people are... Oh, I do have tail fins. Yes, I do. Okay. So uh, light launches. So that gets me the Reliant Engine, the FLT-400, bigger fuel tank, uh, radial decouplers, and a nose cone. Clearly, that needs to be researched. And now, now I have choices. I have 23 science... So I could get the two of the 10s or a 15 and then just call it a day. So what's the 15 do for me? It is solid rocket boosters, hammer and the flea. And environmental science gets me the science junior. And probes are probe bodies, uh, batteries, communitron 16s for transmittings and junk. Born, okay, it just has a funny color. Uh, Steputnik probe core. Introductory construction for tubes. Structural panel. Uh, bicoupler. More structural panel. Structural fuselage. Beams. Another structural panel and launch clamps. And finally down here we have aerodynamic stability for... Oh, we got wings, right? That's what we're looking at here. For making wings and oh oh a reaction wheel the ZRW-125 reaction wheel.